All right, here we are. This is Anne's um, first lesson here. And since it's a first lesson and what we talked about, I'll try to do this fairly quickly. Don't spend too much time on it. But uh, anyway, this is the headstock portion of the guitar right here. These are the tuning keys, the tuning pegs coming out here where the string turns around on. Um, this is the Net, these are the gears, tuning gears back here, which are covered. Whoops, wrong way. They're covered nowadays. They're sealed. Keep the dust and stuff out of them, but it looks like a gear if you open it up. And the neck of the guitar and the frets are these metal things in here and the fret spaces in between. And uh, did I say this already? This is the whole neck and this is the nut at the... Um, at the uh, headstock side end of the neck. And this is the saddle here at this, at this end of the, uh, of the guitar strings. And the saddle comes over, or the strings come over the saddle and down into the bridge, which is this portion here. And this is a breed love, so it looks kind of wild here. And um, then you have the body, the sound hole is here, this round the sound hole, pick guard, um what else do i need to let you know there's a strap pin back here and and the uh that's that's enough i guess for right now and uh how to hold the pick get as close as i can to the camera here is the pick and what i want you to do see that line on that pick i want your thumb to go uh along that top line of that pick so the thumb would go Going, you know, just kind of parallel to that. Everything's backwards on this cam. It's kind of hard. and covering it, and then the finger, the index finger underneath it, and you know, instead of just like this, you'll wear off your fingernail, and you'll have a hard time. Kind of curl it in, at least for now. You might adjust this later on, you know, personally yourself. But that's the best way at the beginning to get the most surface area of your fingers on your pick, and still leave plenty to pick with. Okay, and. Also, to anchor at the beginning, this is another, you know, some of these rules that we're using at the beginning to give us some stability, we can relax later. But for right now, I want you to anchor your hand either on this um, bridge back here with your right hand, and or maybe some people might want to take their little finger and, and let that run along here so that you have, see, some kind of relative position otherwise you're going to be kind of floating out here I've seen so many students floating out around here and it's okay you know not to say you can't learn to play that way but I think at the beginning it's better to be anchored somehow to give you a point of relative distance and the same with the left hand the thing that gives you relative dis distance with your left hand is your thumb which you will pivot on you put that on the back of this neck let me see if I can do this here so yeah it's kind of like this and your thumb will be pivoting see how it's kind of moving back and forth but it's not moving like way up here every time you switch um, switch a note you'll play in a position here with that thumb there and then if you want to play up the neck you'll move your thumb up the neck and play here and using your fingers different fingers and stretching and pivoting on that thumb as opposed to always like going like that with your, with your hand that's a left hand anchor and then the spider exercise that we talked about. Uh, we could start on the sixth string, the strings again, as I gave you that uh, tablature sheet, and we learned how to read tablature in your lesson. But once again, this, these are the first string is this high one. Uh, first string is an E. Second string is a B. Third string is a G. Fourth string is a D. Fifth string is an A. Sixth string is an E. Now this is what we call standard tuning, and this is what I usually teach people to start in unless they have some particular burning desire to learn a Leo Kaki song or something with an open tuning Joni Mitchell song or something for their first song. Um, it's just good to kind of know standard tuning, obviously. Um, there's a lot of different tunings, but standard tuning, that's standard tuning and the notes and the string numbers. So it starts 1, E, 2, B, 3, G, 4, D, 5, A, 
that sixth is E again. So these first and sixth strings are both E's, two octaves apart. Um, so we're going to start in the sixth string and do a, what's called a spider. And this starts, I'm going to pick for now, just down. Later on we'll do a little alternating pick um, in further lessons, but at the beginning the main thing to think about is just doing a rest stroke, which is taking that pick and hitting the sixth string and letting it rest on the fifth string like that. It's resting right there. So we're going to, and with our left hand now is going to hit the sixth string open and then one finger per fret. The fingers on my left hand, I'm going index is one, middle is two, ring is three, and pinky is four. So I'm going open, then with the first finger, first fret on the sixth string, and then the second finger on the second fret, sixth string, the third, then the third finger on the third fret, sixth string, and the fourth finger on the fourth fret, sixth string, and then I'm going to hit the open A string, because I want you to know that that's the next string up, and which is the same as the sixth string at the fifth fret. And we'll be doing a little tuning exercise to show how you can use that knowledge, okay? But for right now, here it is, from the sixth string, up one finger per fret, and I'll call this spider on up. Up to the open A string, then back down. And I tap, I tap that for you. That's all in the sixth string, all rest row. Resting, hitting the sixth string, resting with your right hand pick, and resting it on the fifth string. There we hit the fifth string and rest it on the fourth string. It's called a rest stroke because it rests on the on the following string. All right, and we also looked at doing it on the A string. And then the open fourth string or D. And then back down on the fourth fret. The string and spider on down. Okay, now that's the spider. You can do that actually on every on every string. And I want you to be pivoting if you need to move your fingers and on that thumb on the back, you know. And don't bring your thumb way over here. Try to keep it back. It's going to hit on that. Um, where is it? But right there on the. Um, thumb is where your neck is going to be on the back and it can change a little bit but that basically that's so that you can there's quite a range if you look you know with your thumb I don't have really large fingers but that's a large stretch that you can do if you keep that thumb in the same place and pivot all right and we don't have much time left here so I'm going to do uh, I did tab for you on wipeout on one string and we learned it on the second string and we might have gone on to the first string um, but anyway on the second string where it starts is open on the second string and then we're taking our first finger on the third fret of the second string this is all in the second string then spider on up second finger on the fourth fret second string and then fifth fifth fret second string hit it three times then back to the third fret with the first finger of the left hand on the second string. And then open twice, or once rather. And we start over. And I put a little repeat sign on that, and it repeats four times like this. Start over. All right. I'm almost running out of town, out of time here. <laughs> and anyway, thank you, Ian. And there is your video on your lesson. Any questions, you could call me or email me, okay? Thank you. Bye. Great job.